Hi, it's Jukebox818 here with another video for the XTC. Today we're going to be talking about surfing the web at 3G speed with YouTube, the Opera Browser, MySpace, and also Facebook. Um, YouTube does not work on the phone, let me just tell you already. And here's just a sped up little version of uh, what I had to do to find this out. I went to m.youtube.com, um, accepted all the charges, typed in, a, typed in my video, and went to try to stream it, and you get an error message here that's going to come up, and it's going to tell you stream media is not available. The Mini Opera Browser. You can access this on your phone for free. All you have to do is go onto the internet, or surf the web basically, accept all the charges, or pick a data plan, and go to mini.opera.com. And here's the real time of uh, me typing in mini.opera.com in the search box up here. Uh, and actually, this is going to be sped up a little bit right here. Okay, so we're back to real time. And I hit search. And what it'll do is it's going to take me on to um, ask.com. Basically, it's thing, it's like Google, I'm sure everybody knows. Um, and it's going to give me the options here of where I can what websites are available here. And I'm gonna click on you're gonna click on the first one, which is the Opera Mini three point I think one two and or four two, I'm sorry, four two. And you're gonna download it. So download mini. It's gonna ask if you if you're sure you want to, you're gonna download it. This is a sped up version here. It takes about a minute to download. A little more, a little less, um, depending on I think how much signal you actually have. <clears throat> so then, after it downloads, it's going to save in, onto the um, My Stuff folder on the men main menu, and it's going to go into the My Other Stuff. Just so everybody knows. Now, Mini Opera is a basically a smaller version, and this is just showing the phone while it's installing here. Takes about a minute to install, also, and it's a full functional, basic, basically a full functional web page on your phone, which is really cool. So, again, it's free. You, you don't have to pay other than to download the um, or just to access the internet. Now, I tried to get on MySpace on the phone with the Opera browser; it didn't really work. Um, it brought me to a page like this, and when you do this. There's like a little box. You use the multi-directional little toggle, bu toggle button on the front of the phone to scroll around, and like I showed you here, it controls it. And when you click on the center, it'll zoom in and it'll allow you to access it. So this is again the MySpace login page, but I it doesn't work, so don't don't do it like that. Go to MySpace or m.myspace.com to be able to log into MySpace. That's the best way to do it, just so everybody knows. That's again m.myspace.com. And it looks like I'm just showing you when I'm texting on the phone. There you go. It was done outside because, like, I, I don't know if I said or not, um, it was the only place I could get real good service enough to get on the internet. So, there is a bit of a glare, but I think you can see it enough. It just takes you again right to the Ask browser, little Google Earth thing, and you select the login page, and you log in. So, I'm going to, I guess, type in my user stuff, and scroll down to login. So it becomes blue, you hit it, it's going to say it's going to sign in over an insecure network. If your choice, you can either accept it or don't accept it. I accepted it, just so you could see what it looks like on the phone. There you go, there's my status, my photo I, photo on MySpace there. Scroll down, friend status, you got your status, you can update it. Pictures, comments, bulletins, etc. 
and you can even see your profile on the page here and also blogs. Now if you go to your profile, it does not play the song on your profile, it's basically just a condensed version of your profile and you can look at your pictures, your comments, um, you can even edit your profile right from the phone which is cool. So I'm just gonna I guess go and go to um, my comments and show you the basically a condensed version of your MySpace comments on your page. Here we go. Again, keep in mind the network bar is down there, and in, and the um, internet speed is actually pretty quick compared to the other uh, phones. There you go. You see the picture comes up. Quick thing there, and I'm also going to show you um, photos. You can vo view full photos on your phone. and view all the photos on your particular profile so here's an example of all the albums or whatever um... okay yeah I'm, I guess I'm, I did the outside pics just a bunch of trees and whatnot and there's a thumbnail of the particular picture there and if you click on it it'll come up bigger which you'll see in a second after I select it and load it there you go I think it'll just, it'll just take a minute there you go you can view a full size and you can view all of them you can also do it in vertical mode also you don't have to be in the horizontal landscape mode and there's an option um, for display mode, which I don't think I showed on here. If you go to the options and go to display mode, you can do it in widescreen or full screen. I think this is full screen. So moving on to Facebook. Facebook, you can use the link that they give you and sign in, log in. And the link that they give you is on the web um, button on the menu. So it's going to say again, you're entering a secure or insecure network. I'm not really sure which one it was. And it's up to you. If you do want to log in, that's fine. I did, just so you could see, since I got a lot of questions about it. And um, it does take a couple minutes here. Now, Virgin Mobile accidentally charged me twice. Here's the screen that I was talking about. Um, charge me twice to get on the uh, internet. If that happens to you, just check your account when you're done using the um, internet and see if they've charged you double. If they have, just call them and they'll gladly refund one of the charges as long as they're within, I think, a minute uh, of it by accident. Like if you if they charge you twice by accident, they refund you. Um, you can also view basically the same things as MySpace on here your messages, your friends, your profile, your photos, etc. Um, and then all the friends updated statuses on here. And you can update your status right from your phone on both MySpace and on Facebook. And this is just me typing. This is again sped up. And back to real time. Hit update status. And this is again in real time. The network they're taking this long here. It takes about I think somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds for it to come up after you hit update status. There you go, it'll refresh the page for you. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope it answered some of the questions you had about the browser on the XTC. Um, please rate and subscribe, and I'll do a subscription for a subscription. Um, thanks.